This video will demonstrate how to create a DGEN library, how to update configuration variables to load that DGEN library. We'll then import levels into that from a legacy DGEN library. You see here on the screen on the right side is an example file that I've created out there that's got some levels in it that we can import. It also has some level filters. So we'll see how to import level filters as well. Now we're going to begin in the new workspace that we're creating here in the feature definitions folder and notice that there are no DGEN libraries in there. So we're going to go down to the seed folder, choose the seed 3D file, we'll copy that, then go back to the feature definitions folder and paste it in there. And once we get it pasted in there we'll need to rename that file. So I'll select that. I'm going to name this uh, XYZ standards.dgnlib okay and then since the extension changed it'll prompt me yes go ahead and change that file so we've got the new file name now notice that this file is just XYZ standards it's not saying that it's got levels or features or anything like that in it so we're gonna have to update the configuration file to load this and I did that just so the files shorter um, that way if I put it on a server that's got a longer path, I don't have to worry as much about the, the length of paths. Okay, so I've got that in there. We'll go back and edit the configuration file now. So in the organization civil folder, I'll edit the CFG file and I'll scroll down to where the MS DGEN lab list levels variable is defined. And in there currently you see it's loading from the feature definitions folder any files that have the word levels and the extension DGEN library in the name. Now ours doesn't have that so I want to copy this line paste it back in this file so now we've got two lines calling or defining that variable and then I'm gonna choose the file name again of the DGEN library copy that name and I'm gonna paste it back into this variable. So now it's going to load the file that we just created as well as any files that might be placed in this directory in the future and have the word levels in the name and the extension DGEN library. Okay? And that just makes it a little bit more flexible. So I'll save that file now, close this, and then launch Open Roads Designer. Now when Open Roads Designer uh, brings us to the screen here. We want to choose the workspace and work set and then we'll browse and choose the DGEN library. So we'll go back to the organization civil, XYZ standards, DGEN lib, feature definitions. Make sure we change the type to all files so we can see our new file. Select that and then open. Now we're making sure we're in the workspace so that levels and level f or if when we import levels if they have line styles available they'll be in the workspace for us okay now when we open up level manager you see there's no levels in there right it's from a blank seed so we'll go to levels import and then browse to that legacy level library okay so we're in the old standards DGN library we'll choose that you can see it's trying to import all the levels in that level library. Now we could be particular here and choose specific levels we want to import if we want by holding, just clicking on one and holding control key down and selecting the others. Just Windows standard type things. I can hold, click one and then hold shift and select a group. I can hit control A and select all or I can click on the select all button and select all of them. And that's what we'll do in this case. We'll import all those levels. I'll click OK and then it brings those into this DGEN library. While we're here, we'll go ahead and import the filters as well. So I'll click on the filters category, go to the filters options from the menu, choose import, select the legacy level library again, and then this time we'll just do a few. So we'll pick those, click OK, and that imports those level filters into the library. And that could completes the demonstration here of creating the DGEN library, configuring it, importing levels and level filters.